Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we'll be learning this trending flying car logo animation in After Effects. Let's get started. So what I have is the footage and a logo, which is available on the internet. You can go and download. The links will be there in the description down below. First things first, let's stabilize the motion. Select the footage, go and select this warp stabilizer. And we're gonna wait for After Effects to stabilize the motion. A few moments later. All right, once you have the stabilized footage, you can just right click and we can pre-compose this and rename this footage. Make sure you select this move all attributes and hit OK. All right, select the footage and I'm gonna track the camera. So I'm gonna go here in the tracker. If you don't find this tracker, you can go to window and you can find the tracker here. All right, so select the footage and track camera. A few minutes later. All right, once you have the tracking information, you can scrub through the timeline and go to the end of the frame. And I'm gonna drag and select these tracking points. Right click, and I'm gonna create a new solid and camera. So if I scrub back, you have a solid there. I'll import the logo. I'm gonna drag and drop it inside this and I'm going to pre-compose this once again. Control, Shift and C. And I'm gonna rename this logo and move all attributes, hit OK. Make sure you set this a 3D layer and I'm gonna copy the position of this solid. Hit P on the keyboard, select the position, Control C to copy. Select the logo and Control V to paste it. And we're gonna refine this, so let me just shut off the eye for this layer and I'm gonna work with this. You can just scale it down, hold down shift and scale it down and I'm gonna try to match it okay like this and hit W for rotation and I'm gonna adjust your rotation, scale it down something like this. So what you have is the logo. Once you have that you can just turn back the tracking solid layer on so if you see here, the rotation is not match. So I'm gonna hit R on the keyboard and copy the orientation, Control C and Control V to paste it on the logo. And I'm gonna off this layer and I'm gonna try to match the logo now again. I should have done earlier, but better late than never, you can always do it. You can just adjust this. And you turn this back on and hit P on the keyboard and I'm gonna move this logo slightly above the solid like this okay and if i play it back everything seems to be fine now okay so selecting on the solid layer i'm gonna grab the pen tool and i'm gonna draw a mask around this something like this so we're gonna remove the original logo which was on the footage so I think this is the best way to do that. You can always paint this out in Photoshop and bring it back, but I think this is kind of the easier way to, to fix this, okay? So that is the rough mask. And what I'm gonna do is apply a four color gradient on this layer, gradient, and I'm gonna select this four color gradient. So you can just move this point closer to the mask, the edge of the mask, like this and the other one somewhere here all right so we're gonna what we're gonna do now is pick the color uh, of this one and the green to this one and for the pink let me just pick it somewhere here and for the blue somewhere here all right so if you turn off the mask you can see this you have a uh, sharp edges here so what we're gonna do is select the solid hit f and we're gonna feather this slightly all right that's kind of the fix maybe you can you just increase the feather like that all right that's really nice but i think the logo is not realistic so let's work on the color correction of this uh, we're gonna add a uh, curves curves and then we're gonna also add a tint on this tint. And let me just go down to the tint and tint amount to 50%. And we're gonna increase the contrast a little bit, something like this. 
and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select the logo layer right click on the logo go to layer styles and add a bevel and emboss and I'm gonna go inside this bevel and emboss I'm gonna set this to pillow emboss and I'm gonna set this to smooth and I think that's a little bit realistic now and I'm gonna close that out all right, let's go ahead and try animating the logo now. All right, so let's crop through the timeline and maybe at around five seconds or so, five seconds or so, I'm gonna set a position for this logo. Hit Shift and R, and I'm gonna add a Y rotation, and I'm gonna move a few frames, and I'm gonna add a position keyframe just the Z axis and you know just play with this framing frame it like this and I'm gonna add a twice two times rotation and if I scrub through this you can see that it's rotating very nicely all right let's go back to this first keyframe I'm gonna add an orientation keyframe as well and maybe around the this keyframe I'm gonna reframe this maybe I'm gonna adjust a little bit something like this and position as well something like that all right that's very nice and if I go maybe around seven seconds or so I'm going to copy the position and paste it there again. And I'm going to set this Y rotation to zero. And I'm going to copy the first keyframe of this orientation. I'm going to paste it back here. So back into position. All right. Right now we have a very, very basic animation. It's not smooth. So we're going to add a sauce here. Select all the keyframes. Right click keyframe assistant. Oops right click keyframe assistant and I'm gonna go to easy ease go to the graph and I, let me just adjust the graph to something like this one something like this and if I play it back now it's gonna be very smooth like that and we're gonna add a motion blur to this because it's a little bit realistic like that without motion blur it's flat it's boring so make sure to turn on the motion blur for this layer okay so let's go back to the normal timeline select the logo and I'm gonna add a light sweep and let me animate the center here all right this is the point I'm going to animate from somewhere here maybe somewhere here set a keyframe for the center and move few frames and I'm gonna drag this to the left. And there you have it. So hit U, U on the keyboard and select this keyframes, right click keyframe assistant, easy ease. And if you play it back now, you have a very, very nice animation. So and glow, and maybe that's a little fast. Maybe stretch this out a little bit. You can go inside the graph and you can tweak the graph to make it smoother all right so you have that glow and it's going back bam like that so what i'm going to do next is create an adjustment layer let me just create an adjustment layer and just put this adjustment just below the logo layer and what i'm going to do is add a blur effect camera blur camera lens blur okay so when the the logo is somewhere around here i want the background to be blurred out because the, the focus is the logo all right so let me just increase the blurness to maybe 20 just look at the background okay that's nice set a keyframe and if you go back somewhere somewhere around maybe maybe here set back to zero hit u on the keyboard Scrub to the timeline and find the timestamp where the logo flies back to its original position. And I'm going to set this blur to zero again. 
and I'm gonna set this right click keyframe assistant and easy ease all right as you can see here the bevel and emboss effect is still here when it's in midair so I don't want that let's go and select this logo collapse this and let me go inside the bevel and emboss go to layer styles and let me just animate the depth okay so when the camera when the logo flies out maybe somewhere around here set a keyframe from 100 to maybe zero maybe ease that out easy ease and flies up here all right that's a little bit better and when the logo goes back to maybe somewhere around here set a blank keyframe and go few frames and the logo it's in the original position let me crank this up to 100 okay let me just do the final step with it which is creating a new composition or maybe I'm gonna drag this uh, composition inside a new composition and control K and rename this render and right click time enable time remapping let me just do some time remapping effect okay so it's very very slow so it's boring let me just maybe somewhere around here set a keyframe and I'm gonna go somewhere around here set another blank keyframe here another one and the last one okay so I'm gonna go select this last keyframe and bring it closer and I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna set this first keyframe and drag it closer to the second one so if I play it back now zooms in goes out and like that okay so let me just select the work area and smooth this uh, speed ramping effect okay hit B go here the last frame and hit N that's the work area right click trim comp to work area so in that way you have this work area okay so I'm gonna select all the keyframes right click keyframe assistant easy ease go to the graph and let me just smooth this out so maybe goes in smooth and like this and I'm gonna smooth this smooth this out again all right if you play it back now you can see that very nicely I'll also add an a CC motion blur for this CC force motion blur and we have a little bit of motion blur when the speed ramping effect is happening okay before after before and after that's really nice watch this next video to learn more after effects this is motion designer and I will see you in my next video take care